has just introduced a series of connectors, bimetal plated, high corrosion resistance, very easy to install connectors for our shipboard cables. We have three very popular low loss shipboard cables. We have the uh, M17 223, the M17 225, and the M17 221. These cables are low loss, rugged, flexible, meet all the requirements of M17 in terms of chemical resistance, abrasion resistance, tensile elongation, and the many other requirements of M17. So today we're going to terminate the M17 223 low loss shipboard cable with a, just a type end male. This is a type to be a type end male with lock wire holes, specifically designed for this cable, bimetal plated, good corrosion resistance. So with any cable termination, starting out and getting a good cut on the cable is really important. This is our CCT03 cutting tool, spring loaded. All you do is place it onto the cable, get a couple inches back from the end of the cable, put your finger through the hole, you spin it, spin it a few times. It'll scribe through everything. It'll leave the cable nice and round. At that point, we also, for these connectors, we have what we call these WSB boots. They're strain relief boots. They're also IP67 boots. You take a little bit of silicone lubricant, place a couple drops onto the cable, take the boot, get it started. Once it hits that lubricant, you know, slide it back a little bit. Take your crimp ferrule, slide that crimp ferrule back. Take our CST-400 tool. Make sure there's nothing stuck inside one. Look inside one there. Pop that on until it stops. Start pushing down on that thumb switch and turning it. And once you bottomed it out, make an extra revolution or two. Keep it depressed and pull it. It takes that whole pellet off, takes the adhesive off. You flip the tool around, this little deburr tool there. Line that up with the center conductor. A little back and forth. Takes those burrs right off the center connector. Now on side two, you want to make sure there's two settings, clamp and crimp. You want to make sure it's sent for crimp. You just place it onto the cable and just let the tool do the work. You know, there's no need to, uh, it's not, you don't have to force it or anything. You'll feel it when it's all set. Takes that jacket and peels that jacket right back. At that point, you just take the braid wires, you just fan them out a little bit. You take this spring finger, this has got a spring finger context, brilliant copper, gold plated brilliant copper spring finger. Just get it started, it's a nice snug fit. Give it an pu extra push and turn. That's those fingers riding up on the center conductor. You bring that ferrule up and those braid wires are right where you want them to be. So you take a 420 hex tool, hex die, and you want to crimp it just once right at the very back of the connector, like so. There are ribs built into the back of the connector. There are ribs built into the back of that boot. Just put a little more lubricant there. And slide that forward, slide that up. And you probably heard that snap, or you maybe if you didn't, but it, it, it snapped right into place. You got a nice strain relief at that point. Uh, it's IP67 rated. The beauty is all the connectors, it, it, they all use the same strip dimensions. They all work with this tool. They all work with this boot. So good corrosion resistance, easy. Anybody can become an expert in no time at all. There's really no variables in play here. You're not soldering out in the field. You're not worrying about pin to core gap, spring finger, brilliant copper, optimized for good return loss. And as I said, you know, we also have for the uh, M17 221 and M17 225. We have the same series of connectors. We have tools also for those size cables, just like this. We also, the connectors are also bimetal plated, excellent corrosion resistance, even better than alloy and better than most alloys of stainless steel. Thank you very much.